Do you know how many pairs of shoes you have? This is Ingrid Janssen from Organize Your House. And today's video, we're going to talk about shoes. Do you know how many pairs you have? Are your shoes scattered all over your house? And have you actually got no idea? Well, trust me when I say you have far more pairs of shoes than you would ever imagine. So I'm actually going to give you a little challenge. Gather up all your shoes and put them together in one place. Maybe your living room, your bedroom, your hallway. Get them from every nook and cranny of your house and start finding the pairs and start lining them up. And I assure you, you're going to be shocked with how many pairs of shoes you actually own. I even underestimated the number I had when I did this for myself. And of course, don't forget your wellies, your slippers, your flip-flops, your snow boots, and all of those other random types of shoes we might not even consider putting into this category. Now ask yourself the question, do these shoes still fit in with my lifestyle? Do I actually wear them? Do I love them? Do I use them? Can my feet still fit in them? Do I, can I actually still walk on them or are the heels so high that I can no longer wear those types of heels? Or do I need to switch over to wedges maybe instead of stiletto heels? Or maybe you've now just wearing flats all the time and no longer heels. By lining them up and categorizing into different categories, you will see how many you have of each. Maybe you also find out that you actually buy the same type of shoe all the time. Maybe you love black boots and you end up buying the same kind of shoe over and over and over and over again. But of course, shoes are quite expensive, though it's really good to know that you know how many you own and if you actually need to replace any of them. Can you maybe put them in one place in your home so you've got a far better overview of what you have and you can easily see if you need to replace anything. And of course, are you taking good care of your shoes? Are you polishing them? If they're from suede, do you have a suede brush? Um, do, does the heel need replacing? Do they need to go to the cobblers? Shoes have st can still have a lot of life in them if you take good care of them and if you have them mended and it's not as expensive as you might think it is. And of course, if you've paid a lot of money for shoes, it is worth to have them rehealed or resold or have them mended again so you can keep wearing them. Maybe when you're doing this exercise, you think to yourself, wow, I actually have 25 pairs of black boots. Why do I keep buying these, the same ones over and over again? I have my favorites that I go to all the time and all these other ones are just kind of cluttering up my spaces. If you are doing this decluttering job and you're having a look and you think to yourself, I actually do have far, far, far too many, see if you can declutter some and that you can donate them. Charity shops would love to have your shoes. Um, a lot of shoe shops these days have containers where you can leave the shoes behind. Um, you can put them in uh, clothing and shoe containers at the recycling center. So please don't throw away your old shoes in the bin, but give them a second life by donating them. So I hope this was a helpful video for you. Thanks so much for watching. This is Ingrid Janssen from Organize Your House. See you next time.